What's up, folks? This is going to be the final video for this little series right here of this little part of the skate park. It's been long enough. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing some of the final touches on this beautiful piece right here. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to change this piece of wood because it worked well initially, but I'm just not very hyped on it at this point. I got to go through, I got to put a lacquer over most all of this. We got to get the fountain up and going. And, you know, we gotta also sesh this skate park because I don't wanna leave you guys hanging. I'm gonna remove that piece of wood. That was actually a lot easier than I thought. So we got this piece of wood right here. So basically the main reason that I'm changing this out is I just found that when you're trying to use this ledge, and you're just trying to use this section with like actual function. This piece of wood is just too small. Like it is just hard to do anything over here because it's just kind of too crammed. And I figured the way that I can relieve some of that crammed sensation is to make this piece of wood bigger. So let's make it bigger. So I have this bigger sheet of masonite right here. Um, this is the exact same sheet that I cut this initial piece out of, it's just been a while. Um, but right now I'm gonna basically put this piece down and I'm going to trace out what a bigger piece would look like and then we're gonna cut it out. All right, so I've gotten this sheet of wood cut out right here and this is to replace the previous sheet. You can see how big the previous one was right here. Um, but I'm gonna basically install this right now. But before I put this in, I'm gonna pull out some of the previous nails that are still in here. All right, now that we've got the nails removed, let's fit this sheet. That actually fits like perfectly. That's on there. So one aspect I don't really like about this park right now is kind of just this floating rail. It's cool, but I'm just, after riding it, I'm just not really about it that much. So I'm gonna turn this into a floating ledge. So let's do it. time to outline some crap. I got this black Sharpie oil-based paint marker. This is what I'm gonna be using to outline these mountains. Let's do it.
All right guys, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna, I'm gonna start prepping this park so it can be covered in lacquer and be all held together really nicely. But the first thing I need to do is I need to make this marble a little bit shinier. So what I'm gonna use is this granite and stone polish. And I have this microfiber towel and I'm just gonna basically polish up this little section and this section up top. So let's do that. So it is now time to add the clear wet look lacquer. Um, this is gonna give it a really nice shiny look and it's gonna make it look like the park is all wet, but it won't actually be wet. So I have my brush right here, I have my little dish. Time to start applying this. All right, so this next step, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to basically be sealing all of the little creases between where concrete comes into contact with something that's not concrete. I did this on the first fingerboard park, the one that's not actually in this room. But basically what this does is it makes it so the thin parts of concrete don't end up chipping up. So I'm gonna start applying this and let's do it. So here at Endowed, we don't just build ramps, we also do plumbing. So, uh, what we're gonna do is this piece is the connector for the waterfall, and we have this water system that is gonna be connected in here, and basically this tube is going to connect to this bad boy and feed water in, and then make the waterfall right here drip. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to drill a hole in the side so we can feed this tube inside to make the water flow. Boom. This right here is a little pump. It's a little pump off of like a tiny fountain that I bought at a craft store. When I bought the fountain, I really just wanted to buy this pump because I knew that there was gonna be some sort of waterfall feature inside of the fingerboard park. So basically what this does is it sucks up water through this vent right here and then shoots it down this tube. And then this tube leads to this tube and then basically it all flows up and then we'll create the uh, beginning of the waterfall and basically just circle the water all throughout the waterfall so it's just a continuous uh, replenishment of water. So Clayton just drilled the hole right here 
and this pipe fits in actually really well. It's a snug fit, but that's how it should be because we don't want any water leaking out. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna basically install this in the little pond and uh, yeah, just get this waterfall going. So watch and enjoy. All right, so the pump will be situated in there just like that. And uh, there's actually something really cool about this pump. It comes with a little light. So this whole little pond will be lit up at least a little bit. So what we got to do is we basically got to seal these holes um, and then it'll be able to hold water. Bam, that's looking pretty sick right there. Now we basically just got to epoxy it in and it'll be good to fill up with water. So I got my weapon of choice. This construction adhesive that Will's been using for everything else. So what I'm gonna do is go in and pretty much glue everything down and make sure everything's pretty much water sealed and then do the same thing from the bottom and then also glue in the tube that goes right there so there is no chance of leaks. So you guys have seen this hole in the fingerboard park for quite a while. And right now, it's time to deal with this hole. So I'm gonna make a little scene that's gonna go down in this little hole. And you guys are gonna watch the process. So let's do it. So you just saw me paint this outside and now it is time to decorate it. Oh, they're orange. That's funny. Hello, viewers. So now I have this little room inside of the skate park. I have this glass pane right here that I can just put over it. And then once I glue that in, it'll be perfect. All right, so last time you saw this fountain, we were putting epoxy in it. And now it is time to add something kind of cool. I wanted to put something down here that would uh, look nice with water on it. And I couldn't really think of anything until I thought of it. And I thought I could use fish tank rocks and put these all down here so that way it has a little nice floor to it. So I'm gonna put these in really quick. So now it has rocks in it. 
and it looks really cool. We're about to pour water into the fountain. Oh no, it's leaking. All right guys, so it is round two trying to make this fountain work. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna plug it in. Plug in the pump. It's plugged in. Let's see if it holds. Hey, no leaks. So far, so far. So it's running out of there right now. The fountain is working. So right now we have to wait for this bottom pool right here to fill up with water. And we're gonna watch it run along and then drop in. And then that will be the completion of the water circle. Oh, it's going. It's going. So exciting. Oh! Oh, it's flowing so good now from the top. Wow, sirs. Also, guys, there's no tarp. Literally, you can see the house now. Before, like, like me doing this action. I haven't done that since for over a year, at least. So it's a good feeling opening this entire section up. For, for over a year, there's been a tarp and this in the way. If you've noticed in the background of the videos, this has been in the way. And there was like vacuums and me and Will went through and threw away all the stuff that was unnecessary. And this is the, it's really weird. So every time we're coming down from our rooms, because we live on the upstairs, when we're coming down, you actually see the park and it's really strange.